What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? It's your boy, Matty Ice Leads for Locals. Uh, I'm doing a really late video tonight. Uh, it's like 2.30 in the morning, but I really wanted to get this update out to you guys because this is awesome. Uh, uh, Go High Level just came out with uh, basically a workaround to the Facebook, um, Apple, iOS 14 updates. And if you've been running Facebook ads for a while, you know that update kind of really threw a wrench into Facebook, mar uh, Facebook ads uh, campaigns and performance, tracking, reporting, and all that stuff where we were relying so heavily on the pixel. But now... Uh, you know, everybody with an iPhone or a Mac is opting out of being tracked by that pixel. So what do you do with that? You just lost like a third of all your tracking, right? That's uh, not good for business. So this, uh, what I'm about to show you is a workaround uh, using Go High Level's Facebook conversions API trigger. And if you got, uh, I'm telling you guys, if you are not using Go High Level in your business and your marketing, I, I really don't know what you're doing uh, with your marketing. Got to have this tool. It's just, it's so awesome how many different things you can do with this. And, uh, and they come out with these updates uh, pretty frequently. So you can get a two-week free trial in the description. Uh, you can check that out. I'll send you out some, uh, some really cool stuff if you go through my link. But um, I want to show you step-by-step -step how to get this set up because uh, it's actually really easy. It took me like five, 10 minutes. Uh, you want to do this for any, any place. Uh, obviously, you got to have your, your, your pages and everything uh, inside of Go High Level. But which, uh, any place where you have a form, people are submitting a survey, uh, booking an appointment, uh, two-step order form, either you're selling products, anywhere that uh, someone takes an action and submits their information, some type of information on your page, you can use this for. Uh, it, it, you literally just you use this trigger and it sends that data right back to, to Facebook. Okay, It's just awesome. So let me show you how to set this up. First things first, uh, so actually let me back up here. And uh, I'll just delete this one. Um, you, you first, uh, you want to make sure you go to settings. Um, go to your main settings and uh, make sure that your Facebook business page, your ad account, and all that stuff is actually connected to Go High Level. So we're in settings here. You go to integrations and you connect. Uh, you just sign into Facebook. You, you select your page, your ad account, and you're good to go. Okay. Uh, so you need to have that set up. From there, uh, we're going to go back to workflows. Uh, and while that's loading, actually, um, uh, we need to go to the events manager inside of Facebook. Okay, so uh, go to your menu option up here, click on events manager, find your pixel. This is just an old test pixel that I have. And uh, what you want to do is click on settings. Let's move myself over a bit. All right, and then we're going to scroll down until we see conversions API. We're going to click get started. Continue. And uh, so I just left it at e-commerce and retail. I don't think it really matters because at the end of the day, it just it just like what really matters is the data that you're sending directly back to Facebook through this API uh, connection. So um, I just and I just chose all of these. All right. So, um, you know, if some of these don't really apply to your business, you can leave them. But I, I figured, you know, it doesn't hurt to, to have all of them. So uh, click continue. And then we need to do this for every single one of them. Uh, that's why I say like, otherwise it would take 30 seconds to do this. But we need to, we need to click on um, client IP address. This automatically gets checked. Uh, click ID, browser ID, and then any other information that you want to send back, like, like basically that you're collecting. So, you know, first name, uh, last name, uh, let's see what else, email, phone number, if you're getting address and city, state, all that stuff, you know. Um, you'll notice that the, you know, I can't continue that and it's because I have to do it for every single one of these. Um, so I'm just going to do that really quick and I'll be right back. We'll, uh, we'll finish up. All right, guys, we're ready to rock and roll. All right, we got all of these done. Uh, just did some, some, you know, some basic test stuff. I didn't click everything, but, uh, we click continue, uh, confirm all of the, like everything you selected, make sure it's, uh, it's all accurate and you chose the right stuff, the right information, confirm setup, you can send instructions if you want. I'm just going to show you how to do it right now. Uh, we'll click on finish here. All right. Once we're done with that, we need to go into Go High Level, and we're going to create a new workflow. So we're in the the workflows uh, part here, which workflows is just freaking awesome. I love it. Uh, let's start from scratch, and we'll create a new workflow. Okay. So the trigger is going to be again any any action that people are taking on your your pages, whether they're submitting just name and email. Are you do you have like a long form survey? Are they booking appointments or are they doing a two step order form? Something like that. Okay, it's got to be there. There might be some more, but those are like the four main triggers. Okay, so I'm just going to choose form for now. All right, form submitted. And I'm going to add a filter. It could technically be any any form or you don't really have to add a filter, but I'm just going to do it for example's sake. All right, we'll click on save and then we're going to hit this uh, 
this little plus sign here to add our first action. And it's going to, uh, we're going to scroll down till we find Facebook conversion API, the savior of all Facebook ads. All right, we need an access token and a pixel ID. So we're gonna go back to our events manager. And uh, I think because I already did this earlier, I might not be able to see my access token, but to get the access token, we're gonna scroll down. Oh, here it is, okay. Uh, it's right below get started. You'll see a little hyperlink that says click or like get an access token, whatever, just click that. And then this pops up, you copy this to your clipboard. We're gonna come back, paste in the access token. Next is the pixel ID. We're gonna scroll back to the top. Pixel ID is right here. Click to copy it to the clipboard. Oops. And then pixel ID, we're gonna paste that in. And then for me, this would be a lead, but maybe you're doing this for a two-step order form. You could change this to a purchase, right? So, you know, schedule, if you're booking appointments, um, submit application maybe for a long form survey, you know, whatever type of event is taking place. Uh, again, it's gonna send this data right back to, to Facebook. Um, as uh, whatever you match it for. So I'm just gonna keep it as lead for now. Maybe, uh, and let's say you were doing a purchase, maybe you, know, you could put the value in right here as well. So again, it's just like uh, when you're running campaigns and you're, you're running it to these pages and go high level now, uh, you're gonna be able to track it almost perfectly. Assuming you're not running traffic to other pages that, don't, that doesn't have this type of uh, API uh, connection, then your, your tracking and reporting is gonna be perfect now. Um, I, I didn't really worry about testing this, but uh, you, you got, there's like a little test code, I think, uh, yeah, under test events, if you guys wanna uh, test it really quick. Uh, for me, as long as you're copying and pasting, I, th I think you're fine. But there's a little test code right here that you can use. You just have to make sure, like if you paste that in and you test it, just get rid of it and then save it again. Otherwise it's not gonna work. All right, so now click save, publish, and then save again, good to go. And uh, obviously you wanna make sure you do that for all of your forms, surveys, calendars, two-step order forms. Uh, get, like I said, it took me like 10 minutes to do all of my forms and, and surveys and everything. It doesn't take long at all because uh, workflow, uh, the, the workflow uh, feature here is, is really easy to use. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, drop, drop some comments down below. Give the video a like uh, so it, it gets shared with other, uh, other people and uh, share it with your friends. Like anybody that you know is doing Facebook ads, they have to see this, guys. This is, this is so powerful, man. Uh, when when we're able to take back control of our own reporting, tracking, and all that stuff by sending data directly back to Facebook, not having to worry about a pixel, like that's just a that's just a game changer. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, make sure you subscribe, come out with these videos all the time. Join the Facebook group. Check out the uh, links in the description. I got some really cool stuff for you guys there. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are crushing it. And uh, talk to you in the next video. Peace.